G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel and today is a very exciting look at the upcoming final series and I'm going to be doing my predictions for all of the remaining eight games of the 2023 season. As you are watching this, I am in sunny Greece right now, so I have pre-recorded this. The final round of the season has just concluded, so we have got a very juicy uh, first week of matchups. Collingwood's playing Melbourne, Brisbane's hosting Port Adelaide, St Kilda's hosting GWS, and Carlton versus Sydney. I actually don't have the venues yet, but I presume Carlton versus Sydney will beat the MCG, and St Kilda versus GWS is likely to beat the Marvel game. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Unfortunately, my team is not involved, but that doesn't mean I can't get stuck in, and I'm intending to to cover this entire final series for you uh, either side of my trip to Greece. It's only a short one. Before we crack into predicting all eight games and the eventual grand finalists and the eventual premiere, and I might even throw in a Norm Smith and Brown low for you, I have noticed that 53% of the people who watch this channel over the last 28 days have not actually subscribed. So if you could do me a favor, I'm trying to build up this channel and grow it as much as possible, particularly over the final series. If you enjoy the content and you don't mind subscribing, it takes two seconds, completely free. It'd be much appreciated, so thank you. All right, let's kick into the round of action. And we have got Collingwood versus Melbourne at the MCG. The form lines of this are very interesting. And form lines probably matter less these days uh, because of the pre-finals buy. We see teams sort of belie their pre-finals form quite often. But nonetheless, it's worth mentioning. The Demons are 4-1 over their last five, having only just lost to Carlton. And their most recent game was a win in Sydney over the Swans, which is good considering Sydney are a finalist too. Conversely, the Pies have been really patchy going into finals. They won their last game of the year by 70 points, but before that, there were losses to Carlton, Hawthorne, and most recently, the Brisbane Lions at Marvel Stadium as well. That being said, you know, combined with some injuries, I actually think the pre-finals buy means that Collingwood will be able to get their act together. We've had two thrillers between these two sides this year, uh, seven points to Collingwood earlier in the year, and then a four-point win to the Demons in the middle of the year. Pies have won three of the last four between these two sides. It'll be an interesting clash. I presume Dacos is still not going to be fit as he deals with a fracture. I think he's probably more likely week two or week three, but I'm expecting a thriller here. These two sides produce good contests. Probably another thriller here awaits. I'm going to tip the pies here though by five points. I think they'll show up in finals. We move on to the second qualifying final between the Brisbane Lions and Port Adelaide at the Gabba, and this will be an interesting and tasty contest between two sides who have really strong contested midfields. The Lions have won four of their last five games going into finals. They've been proven to be a very, very strong home side. Very very, very tough to beat at the Gabba. In that run, they beat the Pies, which is the most significant of all. They beat the Saints, Crows, and Fremantle. Port Adelaide, on the other hand, enjoyed a bit of a topsy-turvy end of the year. They had that four-game losing streak, and they snapped that with three consecutive wins, a big win over the Giants. They beat the Dockers in Perth, and they beat the Tigers in the final round. So Port Adelaide have had a little bit of a tune-up for finals. This will be an interesting clash. They've played once this year. Port Adelaide did smash them all the way back in round one by something like 71 points, I think it was. Having said that, though, the line have won the last three clashes at the Gabba between these two sides and I think that is really important to note. They are a imposing side at the Gabba and they have won by 49 points back in 2021 it was, I think, where the power made the uh, prelim that year. So balance, you know, the power have been a very good side. And if we get the best version of the power, they can certainly take it up to the Lions. But the Lions have been pretty unshakable this year, been pretty consistent, and they have been under Fagan this entire time. And at the Gabber, I think they'll be too good. So I'm going to tip the Lions by a healthy 29 points. Carlton versus Sydney at the MCG, I presume, as the chances are marble. But I think a Carlton final, they're definitely going to have at the MCG. They have played once this year, and the Swans beat them at the SCG. 77 to 51. So that's a tough one to assess because Carlton had this great start of the year or semi good start to the year, really poor middle to patch and then end of the year as one of the strongest sides in the competition. In the last two years, they have gone one and one and the home side has won both times. So that bodes well for Carlton. However, these two sides have not met at the MCG since 2017. So not a lot of form to read off there. Uh, going into the finals, obviously Carlton won something like 10 in a row. I think they got 10 in a row. Those included wins over Demons, Port and uh, Collingwood most significantly. And obviously their ability to not only match the best, but beat the best and at times convincingly has been really, really strong. And uh, obviously they had a final round loss to the Giants but it looked like one team was playing really hard in that game and not so much the other. So I don't know how much to take out of that. Sydney had won six in a row before their final round loss to the Demons. So two sides in relatively good form. I'm going to tip a roughie here. I've been big on Carlton lately, 
but I think there's always gonna be a week one shock, and I think this is the best candidate for it. And I reckon at the MCG, Sydney might just show up and ruin Carlton's party. Carlton are a damn good side. I just think this might be one of those things where Sydney shows up and is better on the day and shocks Carlton. Sydney by 14 points. Then we've got the Saints and the Giants at what I presume will be Marvel Stadium. And an interesting statistic out of this, St Kilda have won the last four clashes against the Giants in years where the Giants have actually been pretty strong as well. These two sides have not played at Marvel since 2018. So a lot of St Kilda's wins have been in Sydney or in Canberra. The Saints, another side that started the year well, had a bit of a dip in the middle and then kind of stabilized later in the season. I think their round 24 clash against the Lions where they only lost by 12 points and their previous win against the Cats showed that they have stabilized a little bit. They've kind of got their act together and could be in line for a decent finals push. The Giants on the other hand had a seven game winning streak sort of in the mid to back end of the year and then dipped again. Big loss to the power. Lost to Sydney as well but in that final round they had plenty to play for and looked pretty impressive but it's hard to tell again how hard Carlton were playing. Honestly this one is a hard one to judge but I think I'm going to have to go with the away side. The the Giants are a little bit more battle-hardened. They've played in a lot of finals, and I think their best football has been better than St Kilda's this year. The form line between the two sides is interesting, so there's probably a decent chance St Kilda wins this, but I'm going to tip the Giants to win a thriller by 11 points. We're up to our semi-finals now, so obviously the losers of the qualifying finals will host the winners of the elimination finals, and that means the first one is Melbourne versus Sydney at the MCG. Melbourne are 2-0 against the Swans this year, uh, both home and away, which is compelling, and Sydney beat them twice at the MCG last year, so Sydney are obviously not a bad MCG side. This ground won't hold any fears for them, and they are in some pretty ripping nick. And obviously one of those was a final last year, which is worth considering. However, we have to consider this is week two, and this I presume that Sydney has beaten Carlton. That is my bold tip, and then they have to obviously play again at the MCG the following week. The Ds did go out in straight sets last year, so doing it again this year would be pretty shameful. I think this will be the game where Melbourne click. And to be honest, as good as Sydney have been at times this year, they're nowhere near the side that they were last year, and I think Melbourne will will have their measure quite easily. I think Melbourne will flex some muscle in this semi-final and win by 32 points. Then you've got the Power and the Giants at Adelaide Oval. These two sides met not too long ago and the Power won by 51 points, but finals are a different thing, let's be honest. Uh, last year, they also did embarrass the Giants 84 to 29 in a game. So I always look to four lines at particular grounds and uh, even though the Giants have had a win this year against the Crows, the Power seem to have their measure and have actually won the last four clashes between these two sides. And I think the Power are too good to go out in straight sets. I think they'd be clearly been better than the Giants this year. At home, they should have no issue. It'll be a strong home crowd. I think the Power will win this by 44 points. So we're up to our prelims. This is getting interesting. Brisbane versus Melbourne at the Gabba. This is a rematch of last year's semi-final, which was interesting. These two sides are split one and one this year. The Lions will be a little bit aggrieved. They didn't make it 2-0, but they obviously couldn't shut Melbourne out uh, narrowly at the MCG. That was a really good game. And the Lions won early this year by 11 points at the Gabba. So the Lions have no issue uh, dealing with Melbourne. They've been a pretty good side against the D's historically. Again, they've had a week off. They're playing at home. They're a strong side at home. And this is also the most mature finals hardened Lions team we've seen. And I think they'll make mo no mistake. And I think the Lions will be too good for the Demons in the prelim and they'll win this game by 23 points. Then we've got Collingwood versus Port Adelaide in the second prelim. And uh, this will be a tasty clash. When these two sides play in the prelim, was it 2002? Could have been 2003. It is an interesting uh, little look back in to the past as well. 2002 to 2004, you had uh, Collingwood, Brisbane and Port Adelaide all in the top four and battling it out for prelims and grand finals as well. But anyway, I digress. Collingwood has beaten Port Adelaide twice this year, including an 81 point win against them in round two, which was quite interesting. Port Adelaide had just come off a huge win against the Brisbane Lions the week before. So it wasn't really a case of bad form. Was there an MCG issue? Well, there's an interesting look at that because the previous year in 2022, the Pies only beat the Power by six points at the G and since then, Port Adelaide have won two games at the MCG against, uh, admittedly, Richmond and Essendon, two non-strong sides. So I always like to nut out, you know, how do sides, interstate sides in particular, play at the MCG. And I think Port Adelaide will be okay. That being said, they are coming up against Collingwood in a chance to get in a grand final here. Port Adelaide good enough to knock them off? Sure, but Collingwood has had their measure and Collingwood are a clutch side and they will ultimately win this game to make the grand final. And I think they'll win convincingly. I think Collingwood will win this game by 41 points. This is the point of the final series where where they have the Brownlow medal, and I'm gonna lock in Marcus Bontempelli. Why not? Nick Dacos has missed a few games at the end of the year. I think Bontempelli has been wonderfully consistent, and to be honest, probably my best player in the game right now. But it is time for our grand final, and it is a rematch of 2002 and 2003, Collingwood versus Brisbane at the 
the MCG, the first time the Lions will have made the grand final. Since 2004, it has been a long time coming and they've been uh, quite close. They've made, I think, pre three prelims in that time. Now, here's an interesting stat for you. I did not realize that the Lions have won their last six clashes against Collingwood. So this really will be an interesting battle where Brisbane seem to have no real issue disposing of Collingwood. It is worth noting though that they did have two Melbourne wins against the Pies, but both games were at Marvel Stadium and we know that the Lions are patchy at the MCG at best. Yes, they seem to play their well against Melbourne. On the whole, they are very, very unproven there and obviously got smashed by Hawthorne earlier this year. So these two sides haven't met at the G since 2017, uh, which makes it a little bit difficult to assess on form. This, These, I think, are the best two sides in the competition. It's tough to assess. I think Collingwood have been the best team at times this year, but I think the Lions end the year as the best team. Um, and I'm umming and ahhing. I think this could go either way, but I think ultimately what will separate it is Collingwood's uh, obviously an MCG side, and I am more confident in them displaying a good performance on grand final day. I'm going to tip Collingwood convincingly. They'll be the premiers and they'll win this game by 54 points. And your Norm Smith medalist, surprise, surprise, will be Nick Dacos. Anyway, guys, that wraps up my finals predictions. Let me know in the comments well, how much you hate me. Big and Carlton fans will hate me in particular. A lot of this prediction rests on week one. If I get week one wrong at all, then it is going to be null and void by week two. But in any case, it's all just a bit of fun. Uh, who am I going for this final series? I'd probably like to see Brisbane or Port, but ultimately, I don't care. My team won a wooden spoon, so draft day is the real grand final day. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what your predictions are. That would be great to see. Maybe throw out a Brownlow and a North Smith medalist as well. Really appreciate all the support on the channel lately. Looking forward to covering this final series with you, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.